Well, yeah, many congratulations. It's a terrific result. Yeah, fantastic. Um, a fantastic reaction from um, the performance on Saturday. Uh, I thought the players to a man were outstanding um, in delivering the game plan. Um, yeah, I can't speak highly enough of them. Yeah, I mentioned at the end, if you had to pick a man in the match, it would have been very difficult tonight, I think, probably. Yeah, I, I think I think it's just an out and out team performance. You know, everybody did their jobs. Um, the only blemish on the on the performance is, is the the late goal that we conceded. Um, but up until that point, it was probably a perfect defensive display as you're going to get. I mean, you need probably coming in, you need a bit of luck possibly, but, and I think you've probably got that after three minutes, didn't you really? Yeah, but I think you earn your luck. You know, the harder you work, you know, usually the luckier you get. So, um, Ryan McLean's ran 40, 50 yards um, to put some pressure on the keeper and he gets his reward um, and he capitalised on the keeper's mistake and it's a perfect start in terms of an away performance. Um, it gives a bit more belief to the players in terms of the game plan um, and then I thought the players uh, carried that out magnificently well. So often, of course, it's the goal scorers that get the headlines of your life but you put in some terrific blocks in the first half at the other end. Yeah, that's the difference. I think um, you know the way we competed, you know, we did the dirty side of the game exceptionally well. Um, our 1v1 defending was excellent, we forced wide all over the pitch. Uh, and when they did come into our box, um, our emergency defending was first class. So the second half, was a, well, we knew they were going to come out of the traps. Well, I think everybody probably knew that in the ground, and they did. And he scored twice in three minutes and effectively killed the game. Really. Yeah, nice to score from a set-piece ourselves. Uh, must give some credit to, to Alex Jenkins for that one. He's been working tirelessly um, in terms of our set-piece work. Um, and then obviously a, a fantastic strike from, from Tyrone Barnett and I think his work rate was up, absolutely incredible tonight for a 37-year-old to get through the running that he did. Um, he's been magnificent over the last couple of weeks in terms of his training and how he's looked after the group, um, as all the boys have been. So for him to get his goal was, um, was perfect for him and just his reward. They'll take a huge lift from this, surely, this performance and the result, obviously. Yeah, look, I think there's only been one one uh, down day and that was on Saturday you know every training session the boys have been at it there's been a real inten intensity to us um, we had two fantastic home performances against Southport and Alfreton um, so yeah just just the Curzon game which is the, the little blemish but tonight was magnificent and, and the players uh, have got to enjoy that and, and it makes that journey home a lot, uh, a lot sweeter. If you knew the answer to this you'd probably be manager of England rather than interim manager of Harry <laughs> what made the difference though from Saturday to tonight because it was like poles apart wasn't it really? Yeah, look, it's, um, sometimes uh, you just have flat performances. Um, I don't know whether the injury to Jack Evans affected the group. Um, obviously, we spoke about that significant arm injury he, he had on Thursday in training, uh, and he's a big character in the change room. So um, maybe the early goal was a factor as well. It's difficult to put your finger on, um, but one thing that this group of players have always done is react. Uh, and when we play against uh, teams in, in the top end of the table, we always perform uh, and we compete, and it shows what talent we have in our squad. And the work rate, I thought, all over the pitch tonight was terrific. Ryan McLean, he must have covered every blade of grass on the pitch. Or whatever. Yeah, he was phenomenal. Um, pleased for him. He's had to be very patient. Um, I think he, he would be the first person to tell he's not been in great form um, of late and he's had to be very patient. So, um, you know, putting a lot of trust in him tonight to deliver that performance. And I didn't think I'd probably get 90 out of him, but he just finished the game so, so strongly. He, he was key to our pressing game uh, and forcing them into wide areas. Uh, and I thought he was outstanding all night. No more story tonight, what's the deal then? Yeah, unfortunately he suffered a gash um, on, his, on his foot on Saturday. Did ever so well to continue to play in that game. Um, but on doctor's advice he was told um, he probably won't train until Thursday. Um, so, so maybe for Saturday. Yeah, and assuming they got the boilers sorted out at Southport, you'll be um, up there on, uh, on Saturday. You had problems tonight, I think, but it's, it's going to go ahead and that would be another tough game, wouldn't it, really? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously, we've, we've played them in the first game that um, I was in charge. Uh, they're a good side, a strong side, and, and they're always uh, near the top end of the table in terms of the playoffs. So, yeah, I remember last year we went there and it was kind of monsoon weather, so I'm, I'm hoping those uh, hot showers will be uh, available. Well done tonight. Many congratulations. Thank you very much.